Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. We'll continue to see scattered showers moving through eastern Iowa at least the first half of our afternoon. After that, rain should disperse, setting us up for a mostly sunny Saturday. But by Sunday, rain looks to move right back in. Storm Track 7 live Doppler radar, a lot going on. We'll zoom into this flash flood warning in just a second. We've had rain all throughout the morning, especially in the northern half of our viewing area. Notice rain showers are becoming more widely scattered and a little bit on the lighter side. That's good news, though. Rain still occurring near Decorah, Lansing, Prairie du Chien, Alcatraz, Guttenberg, Dubuque as well. Where we see some of the yellows, that's where we could see moderate to heavier showers at times. Notice they're not moving very much. Cedar Rapids, Monticello, Maquoketa, Tipton as well. And of course, those showers that have been nearly stationary prompted the flash flood warning for Johnson County. It goes until 4.30 p.m. Rainfall estimates say maybe one to three inches in this polygon here. We could see up to one to two more inches of rain. Now, once this rain clears on out, high pressure settles in. And watch this. The high pressure really doesn't move all too much. That's Saturday and even through Sunday as well. However, we do watch this low pressure system to the north at the top of the banner. And it's going to try to ride the ridge and bringing a cold front through the viewing area Sunday into Monday, potentially giving us an isolated chance of a shower or a storm. As that front moves through, well, and high pressure settling in. Tomorrow's actually going to be the best day in terms of humidity, where dew points fall down to the mid-60s, feeling a lot nicer than it has been over the past week. But as that rain chance moves closer in, Sunday into Monday, dew points do rise to about 70 degrees, so the humidity gives us another kick. Future track does show we'll be dealing with showers, some heavy at times, and not really moving all too fast until about the mid parts of the afternoon. After 3 o'clock, rain should push on out, and I do think we'll be mostly dry for the front for the evening commute today. After that, skies clear, and then once again, we're left with sunshine for tomorrow. Today's highs were in the low 80s with scattered showers and potentially an isolated storm. Tonight, falling down to about the 60 degree mark and may feel chilly for some under a mostly clear sky. City by city forecast, Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Sunshine on tap all day for tomorrow. Get out inside and enjoy it. Especially since rain moves back in on Sunday, so does the humidity as well. And on Monday, temperatures may flirt in some spots with the 90-degree mark.